Treat your taste buds to something seasonal and satisfying. Now, I did speak with someone to get those delicious details of a few food trends for the winter. Well, fashion changes each season, but what about food? So we've got the latest in food and nutrition trends from registered dietitian Carissa Galloway. Welcome back to the show, Carissa. It's been a while. Yeah, thank you for having me. I mean, your fashion is on point with the bow tie, but have you heard of the new celebrity of berries, pine berries? Hmm. No, I have not. Tell me more. Okay, yeah, I'm promoting and chatting about pine berries. I'm partnering with Wish Farms. And when you look at these berries, you're going to see they have a really eye-catching conversation starting appearance. So you're going to notice they've got a creamy color and then they turn pale pink with ripe. And it gives you the sweetness of a strawberry with a hint of tropical flavor. Mm. And what they are, are a non-GMO hybrid of a Japanese white strawberry and a Florida red strawberry. So put those together. The delicious <laughs> pine berry is born. And when we think about nutrition, they are just as nutritious as other berries, low in calories, an excellent source of vitamin C for that immune function, folate, fiber, potassium, phosphorus. But my family has really fallen in love with these, especially my daughter. She likes to kind of show them off in her lunchbox. Um, you can use them whole on salads, on a cheese plate. And I made a savory bruschetta playing with that sort of sweet and salty combo, but they're really fun, a new celebrity. So you got to check them out. You yeah, can and get them at Aldi. Yeah, Aldi Fresh Market, BJ's, and Winn-Dixie. So I want to make sure you know where to get them. Yes, for sure. Okay, I'm going to be looking at those. That'll be some good uh, eating for my recovery runs, okay? <laughs> That's right. And tell me, you also have a new way to create that perfect cup of morning coffee. Uh, what's trending there? Yeah, so I want you to kind of rethink something you might use every day, especially if you are a coffee drinker. This is a new approach to half and half. This is A2 half and half, which is made with all natural A2 milk and cream. So a2 milk is 100% real dairy milk. And what's unique is that A2 milk comes from cows that naturally only produce the A2 protein, a little bit of science, but A2 may be easier on digestion. So it's a great choice to add it into that coffee. If you use cream now, this is going to be lower in fat and you could use it in desserts or soups and pick this up in Publix. Okay. That's exciting. Okay. I'm going to try that out. And also we have a, a color that's trending, a color uh, trending in the food world too. What is that? So this is Oyster, and I'm so excited to be able to share it because I know a lot of your viewers are familiar with La Crusade. They have been creating Joy in the Kitchen for nearly a century, known for having these unrivaled selection of bold, rich colors in a range of finishes. And this year, it's not about oysters, the food. It's about oysters, the color. And as you take a look, it's a really lustrous mix of gray and brown. It has glints of purple. And what I like is it's a versatile yet striking neutral color that's going to pair well with any shade in the La Crusade library, which allows chefs or home cooks to really easily customize their kitchen. So this is the 5.5 quart Dutch oven. This is the recommended size for those purchasing their first Dutch oven. And if you right. want one, I'm <laughs> actually giving away two on my Instagram right now. Okay. At Carissa and G. So you can follow me there. Great for winter entertaining. And I've got a chicken noodle bone broth soup. I'll give you the recipe too. All right. So that's a must follow. Awesome stuff there. And uh, anywhere, anything else you'd like to add or where we can go for more information? So we've got Wish Farms right here. Lots of great retailers that have it. We've got A2 Milk and then LaCruce.com. Look for that signature collection. And I'm at Carissa and G. And you're going to want to follow me. And I also want to wish you good luck as you train for the Boston Marathon. Thank you. It's going to be quite a challenge, but I'm up to it. And I really appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. All right, you too. And of course, head to firstcoastliving.net to our website to find out more.